Who are you? It's Beer Drink. I'm a sissy roll now, guys. Yeah. I'm so happy to finally attain one of the most abominable messages in the entire beer industry. I have gotten to the status of sissy roan. It only took me around $1,500 in two and a half days in order to attain this title of world craft beer supremacy. I'm so happy, man. The way it is, we've learned how to wash glasses. Look at that glass. That glass is cleaner than your ass. I put money on that. You know what? Check your butt. <laughs> First step of the sissy roan. Check your butt. But hold on. I need to clean my palate before we get into this next beer review. Duh, palate cleaning is step number 14 of being a sissy rum. I've learned so many very key and valuable things in being a cicerone. And <coughs> one of those things is etiquette. No t-shirts, duh. Buttons, uh, 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 buttoned up, buttoned ups. What? Yeah, it has to be that. You can't, no t-shirts, okay, guys? T-shirts, sweatshirts. You're fucking, you're, you're a blue collar work. What? I don't even know what that meant. But look, in being a sissy room, four pack, damn it, dude, <laughs> of 16 ounces of jailhouse brewing, Zuzus and Jam Jams. Not sure if y'all saw my first review of these things right here. Thumbnail, 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 thumbnail. But the one thing that I, I could feel it. I can feel that. Do y'all feel that? Do y'all feel that? Probably not because you're not a sissy rony. I feel that this beer has lactose in it. Hold on. Does it? I, this is one of the first superpowers of being a sis. What's in you? That's what I thought. Anyhow, Zuzu's and Jam Jam's Berry Vanilla Sour. It says keep cool, drink now. As you can see, it has a label printed onto it. Not printed onto it glued onto it so that's an indication that oh, i just gave it a whirl i gave it a whirl but that's an indication that this beer does need to be <coughs> drink somewhat fresh <laughs> this isn't one that you're going to want to age you this isn't going to be like a stout or anything of that nature this is something to where if you see it you definitely need to look on the bottom of it and there's nothing on the bottom of it hmm and right hmm, hmm. I've been looking for this one for a while too. My thing is I already know that it's going to be fresh because I've been looking for it for around three weeks and I'm just now seeing this thing surface at Nitro to go and I had to get it. This was my first beer that I've ever tried from Jailhouse Brewing Company. This one is 6% alcohol by volume, but it wasn't this actual beer. It was Zuzu's and Wham Whams. This is Zuzu's and Jam Jams. This one is a berry vanilla sour. 6% alcohol by volume. I'm going to read the back really quick. Packed with huge amounts of blueberry, raspberry, topped off with a heavy dose of vanilla. This dessert-like sour plays with your mind and confuses the senses. I don't like that. Notes of sherbet. sherbet. Berry sorbet and sour candy contains lactose. That's a good thing that this fucking sour contains lactose. But the only thing that's kind of getting me fucked up in the game is the fact that this bitch better be sour, jailhouse. If not, I'm going to take you to Pound Town. And I've never been to jail before, but I think that they... Go ahead and get into that. Oh, this one's way more red than the last Zuzu and Wham Wham. Go ahead and get a little bit more aggressive. 16-ounce can. So this is definitely the perfect size glass for it. Very carbonated, bubble streaming up with, like, the salmon. To be totally honest, for it to have lactose in it, I would think that it would be a bit more cloudy than what it's looking like here. Like, I thought that it would be a bit more cloudy looking just for the fact that it has lactose. But, I mean, it is what it is. It was going to be a saw in the taste. Bubbles dissipating real fast. You see those shits fucking deleting, like, Matt Hardy. Or, what, or is it Jeff Hardy? Let me know in the comment section below. We're going to go ahead and give it a snifter because I'm gifted. My snifter is gifted. Why? Cicerone. Ever heard of it? Let's go ahead and smell this. You definitely do smell the vanilla. It doesn't smell like the most sour beer that you're ever going to get in your entire life, but definitely a sour beer. I don't get much off the nose, to be honest. I kind of get a hint of vanilla at the very, like, you barely get a bit of vanilla, but... We're going to go ahead and put this shit down to the, uh, up to, or uh, what? We're going to go ahead and drink some of this shit real quick and just see how it tastes in this bitch. You get more of the vanilla when you drink it because it's smooth going down. Not the most sour beer that I've had. 
but a sour beer nonetheless. Berry vanilla, light on blueberry. What else is in this thing? It said blueberry and raspberry. I six percent alcohol by volume. This is a delicious fucking beer, man. And I'm so surprised that I haven't done more beer reviews on Jailhouse Brewing Company because this shit is delicious. This shit is fucking a the fuck one. I'm really liking this. I love the can. It's how I love the can art on the Zuzu and Wham Wham. 6% alcohol by volume. You really wouldn't think that, especially for a sour. I'm thinking that they may have misprinted. Could be around 3.8 or something. But if it is indeed 6% alcohol by volume, you don't taste that at all. Sour, sourness goes away. Not a thick or medium uh, mouthfeel. Definitely a light mouthfeel. This is a good beer. You really get the vanilla. The prominent, prominent taste on this beer and the prominent flavor on this beer it's on the way down not so much the berry but the vanilla coming back up and how smooth it goes down and truthfully right there in my throat like when you go like that it's a bit um sludgy right there and that's dis that's a disgusting description however it's an accurate description why it's beer drink not just beer drink it's sissy roan beer drink i've got you very drinkable beer zuzus and jam jams jailhouse brewing this is a delicious beer i'm not going to truthfully this is one to where i kind of can't say that it's better than whams or it's worse than whams because they're both sours. The other one was a sour ale. I'm not sure what this is, truthfully. It just says berry vanilla sour. So I'm, I'm going to go with an ale. I'm just saying this is a sour ale as well because this is a seasonal. Uh. Piggybacking off of the wham wham situation. But this is delicious. And that's all I'm going to say. This is a delicious beer. As far as the sourness, I've had things that were way more sour than this. But the sourness comes at the front to the medium disappears at the back vanilla comes up and then you're like you know what what the fuck i need another one fill me up and that's where we're at jailhouse brewing another great job on another great beer zuzus and jam jams on a scale of zero to five with zero being fuck are you doing and five being yo you a one you're great zuzus and jam jam a four and i'm just gonna leave it as a four i was gonna say a four and a half I was going to say a four and three quarters, but no, it's a four. Just like if I remember right, I think that my review of Zuzu's and Wham Whams was a four. Definitely a good beer, tasty, drinkable, palatable, and to be totally honest, it's 6% alcohol by volume, but I still think that this is a sessionable beer. I think I could have two or three of them and fucking whip behind the thing and not actually go to jail. It is beer drink aka cicerone black belt two stripes i'm a two stripe black belt sissy Rone. if y'all motherfuckers don't believe the words that are coming out of my mouth right now i don't know what else to tell you because i'm certified real is in the room how you doing with you. <laughs>